So welcome to Painting with Dots with Jackie Paul. Um, we're going to make a mandala on an old record today. And we're going to start off with, the record has circular markings on it for where you're going to put your dots, but you need straight lines. And I'm just going to use a book to show how you just lay the book down and make a straight line and move it around so that you have many lines across from each other all around the mandala and anything will work a pencil uh, and if you want them to be opposite each other that takes a little more effort but i'm not worrying too much about that so all the way around, nice, clear lines. To choose your colors for your mandala, you're going to get a white and you're going to get another color. And you mix white with your color and you get different shades of green. So I have a super light green, I have medium light green, and I have dark green, and I have white. And um, you can use other colors. Many colors are available at the field store and they're really reasonable. So you will be getting in your kit a record and it has a hole in it so you can hang it up with a pipe cleaner or anything. And you can do both sides. And when you're done, you can put a picture of your family or something that you cut out of a magazine. So painting with dots is so much fun. I've been using dots in all my artwork forever. And you will be getting a pencil that has two um, totally different sizes of circles. And you layer your, your circles however you want to space them from light to dark or dark to light. And if you, um, I'm going to show you some things that you can do with dots that make a little story all by itself. So you can make a row of dots and the eye just goes in a straight line or you can Make your dots go in a circle and connect. And you can also make them you've got to really press down and lift up. Press down and lift up. Press down and lift up. And you can go in any direction with your dots. And then I want you to take the different shades of color and lay them on top. Just little tiny blobs of color. And I recommend for every dog, go back and load your brush every time because you'll start running out of paint. And you can create shapes. I'm just going to move around just to give you some ideas of things that you can do. So this is like a little flower. Just a simple flower. So if you went all the way around the edges, and you'll also be getting little tiny ones too. Each one has its own vocabulary. This can almost make a perfect line if you make your dots straight. 
start off at a big one and go tinier, 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 tinier. It looks like an antenna. It creates a whole different feel. So mostly I want you to have fun with dots. And because the record has so many guidelines, you can really get some symmetry going if you get a pattern with your lines. So make sure that you have lines going towards the center. And if you go off with the curly cue, that is, that's not going to matter. Just stay on your line. Always come back to your line. So I invite you to play with dots and um, big ones, little ones, going totally in a straight line, curled lines. Just play with it. Mix your colors. Choose lots of different light, medium, dark, and white. And you'll get lots of action going on on your painting. Good luck. Have a lot of fun. Thank you.